Hi everybody. I was inspired yesterday by Dr. Mike up in Dallas and he was making the best stuff jalapenos that I've ever seen. And I decided that I was going to do it too, but with a change. I'm gonna stuff mine with Zumo's on Dewey sausage. So um, I'm a fan of Zumo's from Louisiana, of course, and uh, they make a really good uh, andouille sausage and they make good boudin and quite a few other things. But anyway, we're gonna use andouille that I had today. Now, I have on gloves. And one of the reasons why I have on these gloves is because in the past, when I have done jalapenos like this, I always wind up with sore eyes or my hands are tingling. So I am wearing gloves today and I advise you to wear gloves too. So I've already cored 10 jalapenos. And um, what I've done is I sliced the top off like this. Then I slice it in half. And let me show you my little handy dandy thing that I core with. I use this on tomatoes, you can, this is basically makes flowers out of tomatoes and other fruits and vegetables. But I take this and I run it from the bottom of the jalapeno through. I'm very careful that I don't stab my hand. So when you do this, you can either do it on the table like this and run it, or you can do it um, in your hand, but be very, very careful. So anyway, you can get this at any kitchen store, handy dandy kitchen store. So. The ingredients I'm gonna start off with, I'm using Zumo's Andouille, and you can find that at HEB and several other stores in the area. So what I've done, I've taken the Andouille and I've ground it just a little bit, and you can see that. And I let it cool just slightly. I've got, as I said, 10 jalapenos. I've got uh, cheese and I've got cream cheese. I sliced the andouille up like this. I did little discs and then I quartered that. So it's gonna be bite size enough in these jalapenos. We're gonna wrap it with bacon and I'm gonna use this nice thick bacon and I also find that at HEB. I like the Wrights brand, W-R-I-G-H-T-S and it is very good. So what we've done here now is we've browned the andouille we're gonna add a teaspoon of garlic. You can leave out the garlic if you want, that's fine. We're going to add cream cheese. Now soften the cream cheese, now cool this down a little bit. It's still warm, so it's going to melt that cream cheese. It's gonna incorporate that pretty quickly. So we're gonna get this mixed. It is, the fire is not on. You do not have, it, you don't want the fire on on this. You just wanna get that nice and incorporated in there. And we'll chop that up. I've also got a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. I'm using the sharp. So we've got some heat. We've got heat with the jalapenos. We've got heat with the andouille. And we're not gonna put any more heat, so no pepper in this. Um, the andouille will have enough salt, I think, that, that will get you through. Also the bacon will have some salt. So we've got, um, tablespoon and a half of fresh parsley. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then we've got a cup of the sharp cheddar cheese. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it with my hands coming up here. My hands, of course, are clean, plus I also have the gloves on. Keeping a lot of gloves around the house lately because of all the things that are going on. So, oh my gosh, this smells so good. You know, I love smells, I love texture. Now I'm gonna have to try Dr. Mike's recipe because it sounded so good. He just used smoked brisket along with cheddar cheese. Now I'm incorporating the cream cheese to do mine. I like to do that as a binder. I'll stuff it with quite a few different things. So this is gonna have to be enough. You have to gauge it, it'll have to be enough for 20 pieces, so 10 Jalapenos make 20 pieces. So we've got this and that looks beautiful. See it? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna take about a little bit more than a tablespoon. It's nice and well mixed. We're going to put it right in there into the jalapeno. 
just like that. And normally I only wrap it with a half of jalapeno, but with this, we're gonna smoke it a long time and I want the entire thing coated. These are not low fat, so I'm warning you, if you're gonna make them, they're, they're super, super good. So I'll pin this with a toothpick and it'll be good to go. When I cook this tonight, we are going to put the smoker on 250 and let the bacon brown. So the bacon will turn a nice uh, medium brown color. You wanna make sure it's cooked. But it'll take probably 30, 35 minutes. You wanna incorporate, I mean, in case that, that whole thing of, of cheese inside because you don't want to lose all of your filling. So I hope you give it a try, enjoy, and have a great day. Bye.